Why are you boring? Yeah, <clears throat> I ask myself that frequently. A lot of people imagining dreaming about future cities. They imagine that actually the solution is is、um, sort of flying cars, drones, etc. You you take you go above ground. Trying to dig a hole、um, under LA, a 3D network of tunnels to alleviate congestion. I think one of the most、uh, soul-destroying things is traffic.、Uh, it it takes away so much of your, your life, and your this, this it's it's horrible. There's no speed limit here, so、uh, we're designing this to be. Uh, able to operate at 200 kilometers an hour, or about 130, 200 kilometers an hour, or about 130 miles per hour. Th- there's no real limit to how many levels of, tr- of tunnel you can have. So you can go much further deep than you can go up. The deepest mines are much deeper than the tallest buildings are tall. I mean, you, you started Tesla with the, with the goal of, of persuading the world to that electrification was the future of cars.、Yes. Cross country from LA to New York by the end of the year, fully autonomous. By the end of the year, you're saying, yeah, someone's going to sit in a Tesla without touching the steering wheel, tap in New York,、mm-hmm. off it goes. Yeah, won't have to ever touch the wheel. By the end of 2017, we should be able to go from yeah, from, all the way from a parking lot in California to a parking lot in New York, no controls touched at any point during the entire journey. So this is allowing you to dream of this this really. Ambitious idea of, of sending like many, many, many people to Mars、yeah. in what in ten or twenty years, twenty years time, I guess. Yeah. In the next twenty years, and you've designed this outrageous、uh, rocket to do it. Ch- help us understand the scale of this thing. Well, I think visually you can see that、um, person, the thrust equivalent of one hundred, one hundred twenty seven forty sevens, with all engines blazing. This this can take <laughs> a fully loaded seven forty seven. With with maximum fuel, maximum passengers,、um, maximum cargo on the 747, this can take it as cargo. You uh, presented um, recently this interplanetary transport system. This is a、yeah. scene you picture what in, in I mean, 30 years time, 20 years time, I... eight, year, eight to ten year time frame. Aspirationally, that's our target. Our internal targets are more aggressive, but I think、so、this, this vehicle this seems、uh, quite large and is large by comparison with other rockets. The, the, the future spaceships will be truly enormous. Sustainable energy will happen no matter what. If there was no Tesla, it would have to happen out of necessity. It's tautological.、Um, if, if you until you if you don't have sustainable energy, it means you have unsustainable energy. Eventually, you'll run out,、um, and the the, the、uh, laws of economics will drive、uh, will drive civilization towards sustainable energy inevitably. The, 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 the fundamental value of a company like Tesla is the degree to which it it accelerates the advent of sustainable energy、uh, faster than it would otherwise occur. In 1969, we were able to send somebody to the moon. Then we had the, the space shuttle. The, the space shuttle could only take people to low Earth orbit.、Hmm. Then the space shuttle retired, and the United States could take no one to orbit. So that's the trend. The trend is like down to nothing. This is not. People are mistaken when they think that technology just automatically improves. It does not automatically improve. It, it only improves if a lot of people work very hard to make it better. And actually, it, it will, I think, it, by itself, degrade. Actually,、mm-hmm. I look at the future from a standpoint of, of the probabilities. It's like it's like a branching stream of probabilities, and there are actions that we can take that affect. Those probabilities,、um, or that accelerate one thing, or slow down another thing, or make you know introduce something new to the probability stream. That that in your mind you dream this stuff, you dream stuff that no one else would would dare dream, or, or no one else would be capable <laughs> of dreaming at the level of complexity、um, yeah. that you do. The fact that you do that, you know, Musk is a really remarkable thing. It's important to have. A future that is inspiring and appealing. I mean, I, I just think that there, like, there have to be reasons that you get up in the morning and you want to live. Like, why do you want to live? What, what's the point? What, what inspires you? What, what do you love about the future? And if, if we're not out there, if the future does not include being out there among the stars、uh, and being a multi-planet species, I find that, in, that it's incredibly depressing. If that's not the future that we're going to have, I'm not trying to be anyone's savior.、Uh, that is not the. I'm just trying to think about the future and not be sad.
But you'll tell me if it ever starts getting genuinely insane, right?